Hey guys, today I am sitting by the Christmas tree because today's video is gift wrapping ideas for Christmas. But this is for those people that have a little bit more time on their hands and want to do something a little bit more creative. If you're a creative person like me, this will be fun for you. Alright, I hope you guys enjoy. So I've already wrapped this one up. This is just the blue which will be used for the ice. And then I also wrapped up this present already in some black construction paper. Other materials you'll need for the penguin is some of the white construction paper, some orange construction paper, and a little bit of black. You'll need some tape, scissors, and a glue gun of course because construction paper does not stick well with tape so you'll need this to get you through. So with the penguin the first step is the wings. You're going to go down a little bit and then fold over this white piece. So once this part is cut up, you're going to need two of these. So you're going to fold it over once again. But no matter how you do this, um, you could do it this way or you can just round these out. But that would make them pretty small. So I'm going to cut this in half. Grease them over. I have enough to where it covers the whole side. So I'm done with these. I'm gonna put these off to the side so I can glue everything later. Next, we're gonna do the nose. So there's my little nose. And then I'm going to make these eyeballs. So I'm just making his little pupils out of the black. His little feet have three things. So once again, we're gonna fold it in half. So we are ready to glue. For this one, I already have the box wrapped. You can decide not to wrap it if you want to, depending on what your box looks like. This is going to be used for the cover of the face. And then we have the side cheeks, the eyes and nose, the ears, and the tail and the tip of the tail. The way that we're going to connect this is not with hot glue, but rather by tying a piece of ribbon on it. First thing we're going to do is the cheeks. So you're going to take your white piece of paper and let's go ahead and fold this in half. Okay. Take your scissors and you're going to be creating a cheek. You're just gonna cut it about the same length as your nose. Okay, and fold it over to create the eyes. Well, for the ears, it's just a basic triangle. So this is just a curved tail. The 
final step for the tail is just to trace it out. And then it's just gonna go right on top. If you have a little bit of pencil lines like I do, just take the eraser from your pencil and erase them. You can do it to the side to make it look a little bit prettier. Or, if depending on what you got, if you can flip it upside down, you can wrap it like that. So since what I got, it's not really gonna matter if I flip it upside down, I'm going to wrap it upside down. To top this all off, I've got bows. If you can't wrap really well, just deck the present out with some bows. If you have a box that's like this, most companies do gift wrapping and they'll put it in a box that has their brand on it. If you don't want it to show, wrap it up. Even if it has it on the box, it doesn't mean that what you're getting is inside of it. So I'm gonna show you how to decorate it up with some ribbon so you're not just giving them this boring box. Take your scissors. against the ribbon, just like so, to make it curl. So I'm going to flip it over carefully because I don't want it to move around the stuff too much. And we're going to go underneath the green ribbon on the bottom, the bottom side and the front side. I'm going to cut off that nasty bit. Then, this one's a little bit loose, you can retie it if you want to, but I like to just go in between it. Okay, and I'm just gonna tie it just like so. Then I'm gonna go in with these scissors again. Then I had some left over from me trying to detangle it. I finally just cut it. So I'm gonna take this one and go around this way. And curl these ones too. And then you can put the bow right on top of your curls. You can put it to the side of your curls or really whatever you want to do. And there you go. Okay guys, that's all I have for you today. Please comment down below which one of these ideas was your favorite. 
tag me on Instagram if you recreate one of these looks. My Instagram is maddieautumn underscore faith. Also follow me on the blog maddieautumnfaith.com if you want to see some gift guides. I've done two so far. I've done one for girls and one for guys. So if you're having trouble finding something for a guy in your life, go check out the gift guide. If you want to see some fashion, lookbooks, reviews, all of that happens on the blog. I post there twice a week, so go check it out if you want to see more. Like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe for more videos from me. Alright, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!